Okay, so I just loaded up the game and I could see the shadow of the dog. It looks so giant, but I think because I edited the original one. Oh yeah, you can see a little miniature version. What happened to his head? Whoa, whoa, what? Somebody says go today, Zach Blake here. Today we are back in Hello Neighbor and I'm doing something very special because I just spent the last two and a half hours um, taking models and putting in animation so that the neighbor can have a new pet dog. So I've done this before with the Bendy models and I hope you guys are excited because these take me so long. I've been sitting here for the past two hours um, just modeling and doing a bunch of stuff, basically moving every single individual arm. I, I'm in a, uh, what is it, a map that just looks so beautiful. Like, uh, I'll put the, the link in the description. It is amazing. The light rays, I just, I don't know how that works, but I'm excited because we're going to be looking at um, a bunch of different models. Now, I'm going to be showing you the generic model, which is right over there. You can see that the generic model, there's a dog. You can barely see it, but I, I'm hinting at it right now. But basically, the neighbor um, doesn't have any pets, or at least something that we are, nothing that we know of. At least maybe in the past he had a pet, but I wanted to add a dog into the game to kind of give him some humanity, some life. And so I found a, um, a model online for a dog. And I downloaded it and put it into the game and itself has its own little like animation file So this animation file is this dog right here. And so you can see it in all its glory Uh, whoa, whoa, there's a plane on the floor that spun me around So basically this is the animation for the dog and it looks so nice. It is so smooth Like it's like they they took an actual model of a dog and um, yeah, it made it work If you're getting annoyed right now at the neighbor going meow, I had to add him Into the game, right? And so I'm just getting away so I can hear myself but uh, what happens is basically um, he is the model or at least the placeholder for what the player would do, I think, or a kid. And it's called like neighbor rigged kid playing with like uh, toy with toys on the ground. Right now, it looks like the neighbor is playing with toys. Like he has a baseball over there, but he's not like touching it. And he's playing <laughs> with like individual planes. And he's like, Meow, and the dog is like, hey, 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 play with me. Please, please, please. So, so the dog looks like he's trying to play with the neighbor and uh, the neighbor is just ignoring him and has suddenly turned into a kid. But that is not the only thing we're looking at here today because I'm excited because I did basically some terrible animations. Now, like I said before, those were the real animations made by some person or some studio that was actually really good. So I downloaded this model for free. It's actually really nice. Um, and it had an animation and that's the good animation. And so I tried to make some animations here today or at least make some situations that would be funny. And so walking into this beautiful house, right? Look at these, look at this dust and light rays just coming through. It just looks so pretty, Mwah, it is so beautiful. But in this next room, what I did was kind of weird because um, I, I imagined that is a puppy, right? You can see that it's kind of being like a little puppy. It's not fully grown yet, so I was like, what if the neighbor um, is holding the dog and it's like he's like shaking it? And I was like, is there an animation where he does that? So I looked through the files and I found an animation called uh, Neighbor Kitchen Sink. And so in the animation, he's cleaning. And so I kind of modified everything a little bit. For So he's basically going like this and I made him hold the dog so that the dog looks like he's being held but now it's using the same this same animation of the dog right there so he's still barking but he's a little bit smaller and his paws are basically stuck on a chair uh so <laughs> here it is so <laughs> because I, I basically took the same model of him standing on the floor but it was like oh that looks weird if i <laughs> if i take it and make it look like he's uh, like perched up on a chair it would look less weird but now it just it, it looks overall weird. It's just weird. The neighbor is like dancing while holding the dog, right? And he's just so lifeless. Like his eyes are just blank and he's holding this dog. But it's so cool because we get to see like a dog in Hello Neighbor in a full model. Like, look at that. That looks nice. At least from a distance. Look, let's look at it from behind here. It's like, oh my gosh, the neighbor has a dog. Oh man. But yeah, this took so long to kind of set up because I had to, oops, I had to, um, basically placed the dog in there and I was like okay I'm inspired I'm gonna make my own animations I'm gonna go into those files and change everything that was a bad idea so through the store I downloaded another model of a dog and this one is I think uh, something bulldog I think it's an English bulldog I'm not sure but I basically got a new file with no animations and was like I'm gonna make my own animation so this is the first one I made Right, here we go. It's a bulldog without any eyes because I didn't know how to texture it. 
and I was like, how do I do this? So I was like, I'm, I'm gonna try to make him walk. But I mean, look, he's in Hello Neighbor. I can like, <laughs> you can you can throw things and he'll hit it with his butt. Look at that. All right, here we go. Come on, fetch dog. Boop. All right. Well, <laughs> but yeah, look, he basically um. I, I made it so that he would walk a little bit, and then I wanted him to turn around and kind of walk back, but then he got all messed up and spun around. And so, uh, I mean, you could technically, like, I could ride on top. Whee! <laughs> this is so cool! I'm riding on top of him! Oh, man! Oh, man, this game is so great! You could do so many things in it! Oh, my gosh! All right, here I am riding on my trusty steed, known as Rusty. I call this dog Rusty because he looks a little bit rusty, and you can see... Kind of like tattoos all over him that say this is an English Bulldog sample model file. So you can see, I downloaded the model of a dog and yes. So I was like, this one is okay. This model's okay. I'm going to try to work with the original, the original file we worked with with the dog out there. That looked, that looked better. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make it so that it's, it looks nice and it looks cute like a little puppy dog. And I'm going to make him like look up and down and left and right. And so this is what I call the second version. You're probably wondering why I call it the second version. Well, because- Oh, jeez, I didn't even think that would happen. Uh, oh, okay, well it broke, obviously. This might as well be called the third version. So I think- Oh, no, no, yeah, so I tried to make him walk. Um, so yeah, so this is the second version of me trying to make him walk and look around and it did not work as you can see his his legs just get destroyed in his own body oh my gosh i don't even see these yet I'm, I'm experiencing them as as like right when you guys are right now so it's just this is weird to see um but yeah so this is the second version i call this next one um the third version um and you'll see why because it is actually clean so here it is this is the third version I kind of made him look around. It looks good, right? Like, it looks like, I mean, for the most part, it's good. He's looking around. He kind of gives you this little, like, aw. I had to make the tail wag. All right, so I had, I had to move his head and click a keyframe for there, for there, for there. And so every single tail movement, I had to move and move and move and move. And so it took me so long. But this is kind of, like, the best that I can do. Um, do you guys want to see the first version? I'm going to show you anyway. It is outside. Um, but... <laughs> This one, I have to say, was probably the weirdest because, um, it didn't really work out. This is like the first time I tried to work with this kind of model because usually I worked with the bendy models and there was like three points that I can move. This one had like so many. He's not even here. Where'd he go? Is, is he gone? Oh, okay. I, I don't even know where he is. I put him back here. He like took off somewhere. All right, so I just reloaded the game. Hopefully, yes, there he is. Okay, I don't want to spoil anything. I'm just going to wait until he comes back. All right, <laughs> you're like, what? He comes back? Yes, it, it, it's really bad. All right, where is he? Come back, please. Doggy, where are... Oh, wait, does he just leave? Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, so I made him so that he would look all nice and cute, but then he flies off. Watch. And there he goes. He says, yes, looks to the sky, and then flies up. So, yeah, I tried to make it look all cute, like he was going to say yes, but then I did it way too fast. And then I moved something, and it just... Boom! It glitches up. <laughs> it looks so weird. It looks like he smiles a little bit like, ha, hey, you don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> and then he says, yes, like, I'm going now. Bye-bye. And then just flies off and I think he gets bigger too. But yeah, look, I made, I tried to make him non -ye nod yes. Like, ah, hey, I'm a dog. But yeah, it, it did not, it did not work out. But, um, going back to this one. This, now, just looking back at how good this model looks. Just look at how nice and smooth that tail looks and his bark and his body. Just It looks like a real dog compared to like this one or up here. Look at look at how bad this one is. But I mean, th this could be somebody's favorite, right? Rusty? Is, is, is Rusty the favorite dog? I don't know. He's pretty big and he gives you like a ride. <laughs> um, as for um, this one, uh, it's, it's a little bit weird. I think I tried to make him walk a little. Yeah, look. Look at these legs. <laughs> Look at these legs. They move separately from the body. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Um, oh and yeah, and it's like his whole like butt is like through the ground. Jeez, how did that even happen? Okay, I this this one is just a mystery. I don't even know if this is this is worse than the first one because the first one flew off, but it was still like he still had like a neck 
and that was not inside of his body. As for version three, this one is kind of cute. Oh, every single one of them has like this like glitch. I don't know why, but if you uh, look at his head, he looks a lot like he looks cute. Like he has his hey, like a little puppy dog. Oh, look at that. I mean, he has like no expression in his eyes, but he looks around like he's curious of the surroundings. As for this one, I think this is like kind of an unusual one because of the neighbors dancing. I think, I think the dancing is what throws it off. I feel like he looks excited about the dog, but the dog is like, help, help, help. He's, he's gotten me. I can't. I can't move. So, um, I mean, it looks beautiful with the light rays going in and out, but yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, we can try to make, um, like a dog house. You know what I want to do? I mean, since we're messing around, having a good time. I kind of want to make a giant dog in the street right here and I'll have him like look down and then, oh, what should we do then? Maybe have him run super fast that way. I'll see if I can do that. Um, that sounds pretty cool. All right, so I'm back into the editor. I just added a giant dog to the game. I have somehow figured out how to edit the original animation instead of making my own. So I kind of edited, I did a little bit of editing with the, the, the frames that they did and hopefully it worked. I haven't seen it, so I don't know what to expect, but I kind of moved it so that it looked like he was walking and then that he looked at the ground and like took a bite. Cause I, he goes like this, arf, arf, and I was like, oh, maybe if he took a bite on the floor. Um, I'll actually, if he takes a bite on the floor, I'll move the car like this. Maybe he'll bite the car. <laughs> but then he moves forward. I hope this works. I mean, if it doesn't, maybe it'll be funny. Let's go into the game and now see how this looks. Okay, so I just loaded up the game and I could see the shadow of the dog. It looks so giant, but I think because I edited the original one. Oh yeah, you could see a little miniature version. What happened to his head? Wait, where is he? Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Okay, yeah, so his head gets big. I think when I tried to make him eat the car, I, I instead made the head big instead of moving it down. Um, okay, so then yeah, I, I tried to make him like do a little bit of jump too, so it looked like he was doing like little tippy taps with his toes, but I, I think I ruined it because it looks like he jumps and then jumps into the ground. What? Where'd he go? Okay, so there he is. He jumps, then he goes into the ground, then he jumps up, and then he's gone. He's like a shark jumping in. Okay, yep, he's jumping over mountains now. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is so cool. Wait, can I get like pushed by him? Can I like, here, if I put my self right here. Okay, no, I, I don't think I can. Okay, huh. Okay, now what if I, if I stand on top of this one right here, right? Okay, yeah, he just, he just runs off. Okay, so I guess we can see a little miniature version of what happens. He jumps and then I think, does he jump again? Oh no, he just starts over. Okay, well that didn't work. Oh, he saw the little tap. Okay, so the taps did go through, but yeah, he just, he jumps over mountains. All right, so I think I will leave it here. We had a great time. You can see me messing around with all this other stuff. If you haven't already checked out, you should check out the bendy ones. Uh, I'll try to link it in a card up on the top. So look at the card up on top if you want to check out the bendy animations because the bendy animations those are weird, but they're also funny, and it puts Bendy into Hello Neighbor. So it's an interesting concept just in the fact that I'm putting Bendy into Hello Neighbor, and then we edit it around and make it just fun. I mean, one time I played, play, made Bendy and the neighbor play chess. It was weird, but it was cool. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I made you smile here today. If you're ever feeling bad, I hope that you could just look up Dak Blake and you hang out, play some games with me. I spent so long trying to bring these bad animations to you. So hopefully you like it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, click that notification bell to become part of the notification squad. And as always, peace out, my dudes.